Hello, everybody. <clears throat> I'm Joe Nigro, inventor of the amazing Terracotta World. And today we have a very good show for you. So if you have a set of uh, headphones, I suggest you put them on and uh, let's get into it. Uh, so I usually have my workstation here. I have my Terracotta World. I have it in front of a beautiful window. Uh, and what I uh, will go through the whole process. Uh, let me uh, open up a salsa water and uh, I'm, I'm actually practicing, so if you don't mind. It wasn't prepped. It, know, wasn't. it was prepped at one time, and then all of a sudden it says, all right, I don't want to go into the slot. I will lower that. Um, we'll see what we have on the computer. Uh, we have a lot of things going on here. Uh, but we have a beautiful, <coughs> beautiful show. Um, like I said, I invented the amazing Terracotta World machine. Uh, Baba, the ultimate lifestyle. You want to go to Baba, uh, the ultimate lifestyle with Baba.com. Uh, they're not sponsoring us, but I'm getting ready. Like, uh, I'm thinking to myself, like, I want to sponsor people. So, like, I, I got a cousin. For my um for my salsa, right? Damula's market basket. The greatest people in the world. Market basket. The Damula family. Yep. The market basket brand of black cherry is our favorite here at Terracotta World, at least for this morning. <laughs> Alright. We'll get rid of the stupid laugh. Alright, we got our pot numbers here, right? This little guy here is going to be whirled today. Um, this one. This is whirling on a pole. Um, when we get to whirling on a pole, we'll light it up. No, that one doesn't need to be lit. Anyways, let's forget about Baba because it can't get on the thing. When you're supposed to, like, take your salsa water and put it in, then open it. All right, without further ado... Okay, <clears throat> so people sometimes ask me, um, what is the appropriate amount of space uh, to have a Terracotta World workstation? Uh, so I say to people, uh, like, I'm like, I'm telling people, you don't need much space, right? You got a Terracotta World machine, like, let's just, oh, by the way, we have uh, Puerto Rico. Uh, is sponsoring our uh, purified water from Wellesley Farms. I think this is BJ's Wholesale. These are very inexpensive, but we didn't have a cousy for it, so we figured we'd plug Puerto Rico. You're welcome, Puerto Rico. Uh, send some money our way. I would love a, a house in um, um, Rincon. Um, and uh, over by the by the honey farm or something. Now we'll put that over here. <coughs> All right. So, how much space do you need? We can't lose track of what we're talking about. This guy talked for two hours yesterday. No, no, he's at five minutes now, right? But he literally, if you want to watch somebody that knows how to paint terracotta pots. What you want to do is you want to get yourself on terracottaworld.com. Terracottaworld.com. Terracottaworld.com is where you want to head. Um, we don't sell anything currently at terracottaworld.com, uh, but we plan to. Um, right? That's some sexy stuff right there, right? Th these are um, World of Wands. We should probably get into, like, different things. There's so much to do. We're having so much fun today. What kind of a day is it? Ziggy, what's what's today? Today's a great day. 9th of February, 2024 was on a Friday. Must be the 9th of February, 2024, but it was... But did you hear Ziggy? It said it was... 
Um, I don't get it like it, it was. Um, Ziggy, level eight. Ziggy, what is today's date? It's Friday, February 9th. Ziggy, what's today? It's Friday, February 9th. Ziggy, level six. Ziggy, tell me a joke. Did you hear about the restaurant on the moon? No. Great food, but no atmosphere. <laughs> no atmosphere. All right. So, how much space do you need to play? Um, I don't know. Grab some space in your house and play, right? But if you buy a terracotta whirl, they come in one of these boxes here, right? And then um, you pull the terracotta whirl out. Um, the whole entirety of a terracotta whirl is uh, made up of just a couple of little items, right? So you pull your terracotta whirl out. Um, uh, the terracotta whirl's right there. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah, so you get your terracotta whirl here and your terracotta whirl there, and you pull it out of your box, right? I just showed you that, right? You, you got a bunch of stuff in your box that comes with a box. It says terracotta whirl on it. You pull your terracotta whirl out. <sighs> then, you take your um, motor shaft, right? Because this is a motor shaft. The yellow part's a motor shaft. The entirety of the terracotta whirl is, is called a pot assembly kit, right? Because what we're doing is we're using pots from other things and we're making a crafter's kit, or a pot uh, assembly kit in our case, which defines terracotta whirl. So if anybody says to you, what is a terracotta whirl? Like, what is the amazing terracotta whirl machine? How does it seamlessly fuse art, AI, and entertainment uh, with that guy on TV? Um... With that guy on TV. Anyway, um, so when you get your terracotta whirl machine, you're going to be a little excited, right? So it's in a box, okay? So you take your terracotta whirl machine out of the box, right? And then you got what's called a motor, sh motor shaft, right? So you can take your motor shaft. You can do whatever you want with it for now, right? We'll get into all the beautiful ways that the terra... Why is there terra in terracotta whirl? Well, that's because that little machine is terrible, right? It just wants to get splatter everywhere, right? And uh, we kind of don't like splatter. I kind of get the heebie-jeebies when I touch paint or when it touches my hand, right? So you go to terracottaworld.com, terracottaworld.com, you hit the YouTube tab, now, let's just say you're watching one of these videos and they get quite lengthy, right? Because it's like, I have a lot to say. We need the hours. We're doing our apprenticeship. Everybody that works at Terracotta World has to be in front of the camera for 4,000 hours on YouTube. We need a YouTube station with 4,000 hours. So we fill the Terracotta World uh, team with hours. Um, so... Why would we say that out loud? Um, that's because if you want to join the Terracotta World team, go to terracottaworld.com, uh, make an inquiry, um, and, and then just say you want to be on the team. But you gotta like want to work, right? You gotta learn. You gotta learn how to do the Terracotta World, put it together. Um, like there's a lot to do, uh, but you start your station basically. Your uh, YouTube station, you get all your supplies at terracottaworld.com because it's a wholesale out outlet just for people that want to make money, right? And um, what does it cost you? What's your entrance cost? Um, you assign a licensing fee uh, with uh, the one and only Joe Nigro, right? Maybe we'll have Mr. Wonderful do it for us. I don't know. But we'll do a licensing agreement. Right? So if you want to have a Terracotta World shop, right? And you want to have, like, people over there, Terracotta World in, putting ski, you know, we have all the different supplies and stuff. Uh, we don't currently have an infrastructure for anything, but we'll put it all together. <clears throat> Again, 
um, go to terracottaworld.com. If you're ever watching a video, like let's just say you're watching that video, right? And then you're like, sugar booger. Like I, I, I just missed it, right? Like what did he say? Like where was I? I got to go to the beginning, but do me a favor, right? So it's called a click-through rate or click-through impressions. We want to drive traffic from Terracotta World um, YouTube. I'm not selling nothing, so it's totally good with the YouTube analytics. Hi, YouTube. I'm talking to you. But we want to go to terracottaworld.com. We ain't selling nothing. Uh, we might never sell nothing. So the intent is literally to have a place where people can watch the current edition of terracottaworld.com and then they can swing over if they just like get like uh, messed up. There's no rewind button on like on like the, like if you're watching YouTube, right? Like there's no like control, right? So what I'm letting them do is I'm letting them go to terracottaworld.com on their computer, their laptop or whatever. Hit the YouTube tab. See, it's going right to you, buddy. And what do you hear? So, it's got some salsa water over here. We love salsa water. Trying to lose some weight um, by standing instead of sitting. Drinking salsa water instead of juice, maybe. I don't know. Drinking coffee. Uh, waiting for the weather to get nice. Uh, it's beautiful outside. I should probably go for a walk later <coughs> on today. Okay, so we'll we'll quiet this guy down. That's uh, let's just say you're watching that, and I have a cast on my TV too. Um, you could do it on the TV, right? Say you're doing it for a person named Sarah. Yeah. So you'd be like, "Hey, Sarah, I bought this terracotta pot for you in this gift to box." You know, you live in the the suburbia, and I live in the. Uh, non suburbias whatever that means, Sarah. And uh, I'm gonna whirl this pot for you because I miss you, Sarah. Sarah Lee, we'll call you. Sarah Lee. Yeah, so you can see, right? Like, we got that guy on TV. Uh, he's on TV, me, on TV. I'm on the iPhone 13 Pro. I got the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and then I got the um, MacBook Pro, right? All of which need to be upgraded by Apple, right? Uh, Cook, $2 trillion company. I'm spreading love and world peace, right? You shouldn't pay for nothing, right? Like deco art, right? It's inside the box. We'll get to that. So what's in the box? You get your terracotta world machine in all its glory. I like to say that. Because <laughs> before um, YouTube um, had their beautiful uh, way they're competing with TikTok, you'd have to go to TikTok uh, in all its glory and use its filters, right? But now we're offering here at YouTube, I, uh, disclaimer, I don't work for YouTube, but I play a character, Joe Nigro, on... Um, I play a character called Joe Nigro at Terracotta Whirl, and he's a YouTube character. He's, he like, he gets on YouTube. Did you see the plane go by, right? Like, everybody look outside for a little while. But the whole thing about Joe Nigro and the whole YouTube thing, right, is that when you go on to his station, he's never going to ask you for money, right? Did I ever ask for money? No, not yet, no. And then other pe I'll have other people ask for money, right? I'll never ask you for money. That was a lie, so my nose grew. Anyways, I could hear the, um, outside the window of the office in Salem. Uh, right downstairs is the, uh, um, I lost track of everything I was saying. It's so beautiful. I think it's because that thing's whirling. Oh, did they tell you how soothing it was to set up a terracotta world? Anyways, I'm supposed to be talking about something. So, yeah, when you get your terracotta world, go to terracottaworld.com. If you lose your place, right, 
Oh, it's it's like putting me to sleep. Stop! Put this one on for like prosperity purposes. We'll stick some paint in it or something. We're gonna we're gonna paint this one right by the end of this show. This pot and this um, palette dish. This is just a terracotta pot, and this is a palette dish. Um, when I say just a terracotta pot, our friends at Nika, um, the Joe Petto from um, Joseph Enterprises introduced us to the guy Nika, and he said if we can get uh, one million of these terracotta worlds craft kits sold, uh, one hundred thousand subscribers on uh, our YouTube station, which we're getting there wicked easy. That's not hard, right? Because everybody gets to listen to me talking, right? Then he'll give us the Terracotta World pots, and we're giving him the secret squirrel, right? Because we're telling him exactly what's inside the pot sticker. So all you do is you make your Joseph Industries uh, from Nika the guy, right? Joe Petto, if you're watching, uh, you just make your pots, right? With the with the number 10 millimeter by one half, I'll, I'll give you the exact dimensions. Put a hole in there for me. We could whirl our, uh, our pallets if we want. Right, currently we're not. Right, and then put the 10 millimeter thing there, right? If you want to make it so it screws on, uh, you could put LED lights in there. I mean, freaking make a million dollars for all we care, right? All we want is for you to do something. Like, we ain't asking you for your money. Like, everybody's so cheap, like, with their time. Like, who cares about, like, money, right? Like, you know, I shouldn't really say that about that guy, right? Because that guy, uh, he gave us um, his time, right? Oh, he was sweet. Sweet man. Sweet, sweet guy. I forget his name. I don't even have it. I didn't even save it. <clears throat> what comes in the box, Joe? It was, like, it was like a while, right? It takes a while to get to what's in the box, doesn't it? You should exercise. Leave yourself plenty of room to exercise. I have a family member that actually thought I would do an exercise program on Terracotta World. That's like, like good for people, right? But uh, God forbid if I try to taught people how to exercise, right? Already I'm like trying to whirl them into a, a lull them into a, a, a way they can help me. Right? I don't want you to buy anything. I want you to watch this video to the end. And then please click on the next video. And then like if you can still handle it. Because you can't handle me like all at once. You got to take me in doses. <clears throat> How much should you watch uh, the Sensory Kalito art and Joe Nigro when he's putting out two and three hour 4k videos for a handheld held like this when it should be like that and he does great thumbnails with the help of ai i don't think anybody can answer that question right anyone that he can answer right i think it's just like this thing right that we're gonna have to work through so yeah, so up here at this terracotta world, right, what we did was we took it out of the box, right? And this is the motor shaft. This is the pot assembly kit. You open it up and uh, there's a, it comes with a, um, so all it does is stick on the shaft. We have a washer there because it's very important for you people that are putting, YouTubers that have entered into the terracotta world and put your name down as you want to be part of the people that want to make money, right? It's very, very important that you don't give these to people without checking the switch. Listen. Like, that's, that's what you want to hear. That's soothing to the ears. Then you want to replace the black cord with the five-foot cord. If we still do that, right? But we check the switches because we're getting them from our friends in China. And you check the switch. Because that's what we do. Whirl that way. Whirl that way. <clears throat> Got a problem with my neck, apparently. 
Then, but there's a washer here. Obviously, we take our, um, we, everybody that works for us has a, uh, works for us. Everybody that's helping with the movement. All right, here's the Allen wrench. And, but here is the magic right here. Inside the pot assembly kit, right? Let's pretend we have the washers and the neoprene washers, right? Inside the pot assembly kit is the magic, right? So <clears throat> what we have here is we have what was a um, grinder wheel uh, attachment piece. So this is a grinder wheel attachment piece. Uh, look up grinder wheels and 550 motors on YouTube. Uh, I don't have a link for that yet, but I will. Because what we're doing is we're, we're having people manufacture these and put these together because these cost a lot of money when they're sold individually. And we gotta, we gotta make the, uh, what we wanna do is we wanna get this a little taller, right? Uh, that's the only thing, and maybe a little fatter and taller, right? And then the washer that we put on it will handle this pot and it will handle a pot that's a little bigger, but we don't want the big, big pots. You know, we're doing all that stuff in the future, but uh, grab your pot assembly kit, uh, tighten your uh, motor shaft coupler in your pot assembly kit. Uh, comes with in a little bag. Tighten that on. Put your uh, stainless steel washer, your neoprene washer, your terracotta pot, uh, and then tighten it all up. And that's it. It's like you, you, now you know what the terracotta world is. So can anybody make a terracotta world? Yes. Like these are from Vivor. Those first animals I bought were from Vivor. Why Vivor? Well, Vivor had the best quality switch, right? There was like a thing with Vivor. They were really good to me. Every time I bought a Vivor, I bought a red one. I bought a blue one. I bought a yellow one. But when I went there, I bought a bunch, right? And then I got like a little mad. <clears throat> and then I bought them from China for like $9, right? If you go to um, Mini Pottery Wheel anywhere on the internet, like Mini Pottery Wheels have money, right? Um, and that's what we did. That's the motor shaft part of this. Uh, we just have China make them for us, right? And they do a great job. They, the same color, the same, the same... It's basically Vivo making them to the same people. We're doing the same thing. We're having the same kindness happen for us. But we're just putting Terracotta World stickers on it instead of Vivo stickers. Motor shaft. Like ours are better looking. Way better looking. But they do a different purpose, right? It's for a sense. Uh, it's for a, a sense of just like sensory Cleto art is a sense of doing something for yourself. Like I went outside, um, the wife went outside and she got me a rock, right? So we have this rock that looks like a heart. Uh, we have another rock that looks like Puerto Rico, right? Cause we're plugging Puerto Rico. We love Puerto Rico. Cause we're going there. Like we love it so much we're heading there. All right, like we're getting all scrambled. How long has this guy been talking? 24 minutes. This guy's still yapping. Nope. And I just so happen to have some uh, sandpaper. No, we don't need sandpaper for this right here. Grip. If we did, That's though, listen grip. to him. So we I got... keep it in this little hole, though. Right. And I also mark the end of it 120. Why do I yeah, do that? Little anal. <laughs> because, first of all, yeah. this is like fun. Like, it's wicked fun. It is fun, um, Joe. I can tell you that, buddy. It's so much fun. It's like, it's insane. Like, you know what they don't tell you? Right now. Yeah. You can feel the Quiet. excitement. Hello. All right. So, it's so exciting, right? But what they don't tell you when you watch those episodes, the earlier episodes, the ones from Ziggy, what's today's date? Today is Friday, February 9th. Yeah, so that might have been Friday, February, no, Thursday, February 8th, right? You know, so that's old. That's old fashioned, right? This is AI exponential growth, right? <clears throat> so now you know it comes in the Terracotta World box, right? You're gonna get a Terracotta World machine uh, in all its glory. I'm saying that, right? 
and it consists of a motor shaft and a and a uh, a pot assembly kit. That's it, right? Like that's it. Basically, like go make one, right? Like if you want to hijack it, go make it. But if you want to become part of something, go to turkautoworld.com, click on the little chat button, and drop yourself um, a little thing and say, "I'd like to join you, Joe, because I think you can make some money, right? So we'll make a ton of money." Remember. A member. <laughs> Remember this, people. This is going to be around the world. We need to put together one million units. Now, if you live in China and you happen to work at this factory, we'd like to get these for cost. Uh, I know I could get them for like nine bucks complete, right? El complete. But I need to buy a bunch of them, right? Not that ready with many, but... And the shipping cost. So we'll calculate all that, right? Uh, so anyways, you put your pot on it, right? And where do you get your pot, right? That's what everybody asks me. Where do you get your pots from, right? Well, these pots right here, um, this I don't know where this one came from. This looks like a, this one looks like it came from Michael's, right? Uh, do you want to get your crafter's acrylic at Michael's? Uh, well, here's, here's, a little, here's a little something we got to learn, uh, all of us together. Here at Terracotta World Headquarters, uh, there's people jogging out there. Ziggy, what's the temperature? Right now, it's 38 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, expect a high of 45 degrees. Yeah, it's like kind of cold out. <clears throat> so what were we saying? Oh yeah, we were talking about, um, we were talking about the different things here and where we buy them, right? Well, now you have the ability to look at what is here and figure out where to get it, right? So I'm gonna make all of that kind of easy for you. We're gonna start describing what we have, right? We have the Terracotta World in all its glory. Sign up to be a vendor at terracottaworld.com or if you lose your place in a long video, just use it to start over again. That gives me some impression click-through rates and some other stuff that helps me help you, helps other people make money. It's a simple thing. We're all gonna freaking nail it, right? We're gonna nail it as humans. We're not gonna let corporations take over us. A couple of them gotta do the apps though, you know what I mean? Like, but we can get the dough, right? If we're if we, if we band together as a bunch of, like, we'll call it the Terracotta Army. You, me, and my pot degree. All right, so where do we get the pots, right? One of the things that people always ask me, where do you get your pot, right? So this particular pot, is, it's like beautiful, right? And when you say particular, you should be particular about what you're saying. How do I know it's beautiful? Well, it was manufactured in a factory. It's got a beautiful 10 millimeter hole in it. Clarence hole, Clarence. And when you look at it, when it spins, right? When it whirls, it's wicked straight. So I'm gonna get some beautiful straight lines on this one. This is a good example of a pot um, that we should make straight lines with. Uh, I have all my pots over there, they're strapped down. I don't trust. Uh, when you keep your, if you have a lot of terracotta whirls and a lot of pots because you like working on different ones at different times, what you want to do is keep them strapped down. Never leave the terracotta whirl out. Uh, here's an example of what happens. Um, so uh, I woke up, right? And I was like, what the psh is all the noise, right? It's like clanking everywhere. And I, I have beautiful uh, hardwood floors here at terracotta whirl headquarters. But this little guy was plugged in. Listen to it. It was going nuts, right? That thing was going nuts all night, right? So I woke up and there was a lot of destruction happened, right? New windows. Um, I put a sticker on this window. I forgot to bring over the cleaner. How embarrassing, my dirty windows. Anyways, look at the poor thing. Never leave your terracotta whirl unstrapped or when you put it on a pole, you take the feet off, drill a hole, drill a hat. In the center of the hat, right? Because it's the center of the thing. Centrifugal force, you know. Keep everything centered. Bingo. Just put an X, drill a hole, mount it to your pole. If you have it this way, 
strap it. Like if you're a, a woodworker, make a couple of things, you know, put one of these um, uh, quarter 20 rods in your, in your board. You want to get a nice heavy board. Like I have a cutting board, right? And you want to put like, all these are like, uh, I got them at work. They're the ties, the corner ties, the hur hurricane ties. Uh, and uh, I use the hurricane ties um, because, um, why did I use the hurricane ties on that one? I have little ones that I bought, right? They're cool. I have them in the other terracotta worlds. Um, if you look at the mesmerizing uh, world of terracotta world, um, that shows what I do at night. I set up all my terracotta world machines and I whirl them and I make them cool and I play music. But most of all, we have fun, right? So that's what that's what we have when we go to terracottaworld.com, terracottaworld.com. We'll send you a complete terracotta world box. Inside the box that inside the terracotta world box comes a 12 pack. Uh, in this case, the 12 pack is a pack of deco art. We got this at Home Depot, right? This is a 12 pack right here, deco art. Right, uh, Crafters Acrylic Deco Art 12 pack, right? These are big, huge dollars, right? Uh, you go online and try to get these, right? Um, it says, I love you to the, to the mornings and back, right? Let's get a good look at that, right? That, uh, yeah, yeah, right there. Come on. Come on. 4K, coming in. All right, so we have this, right? Uh, and what happened, right? We got flat paint, right? Uh, we're painting terracotta pots. So anyways, we got all that stuff. And it's got like cool colors, right? Like, let's examine the colors of this up top. Uh, the Christmas colors uh, from Deco Art, they're not just called like Christmas colors, right? They made all schnazzy colors and I got it at homedepot.com. Homedepot.com is where you wanna go to get all your lumber. We're plugging everybody, right? Go to apple.com and buy an iPhone because it looks really cool, right? And then go to uh, YouTube and, and sign up for YouTube TV. Sign up for free YouTube, right? And buy some stuff at BJ's Wholesale. Get yourself a Stanley 12-foot ruler. Where do we get this one? Probably at the Home Depot. Go to the Home Depot. All right, so we should be making millions of dollars now, right? <clears throat> okay. So what are we doing in this episode other than jibber-jabbering? I guess that's what we're trying to meander through. I just felt like painting today. I really didn't feel like getting involved with uh, anybody's uh, antics. I just felt like um, screwing around. So what I did was... Uh, I woke up, uh, I had some, um, I had some, uh, steel cut, um, some steel cut oats, <laughs> uh, and then after that, what did I have? I had some beautiful, wonderful, um, other stuff, and I just ate, and that's what I did. So I'm nice and full. I had my coffee, several several gallons of coffee, right? And then I went to the store, right? Why'd I go to the store? Well, you have to go to the store to get your gift to box, right? Obviously, we need a gift to box. Now we're gonna grab a whirl of wand. And we're gonna talk about what you get when you go to the store and you get your gift to box, right? Where do you get your Whirl of Wands? Well, you get those at terracottaworld.com, terracottaworld.com. We're not selling anything yet. But if you're on YouTube and you're looking at this in your entrepreneur, right? We could get these Whirl of Wands. Wait a minute. They take AA batteries, three AA batteries. So the last thing we want to do is we want to, we don't want, like this one will go dead, but that's okay. We got light. Right, so we got these Whirl of Wands, right? Now check this out, right? We have this website 
uh, terracottaworld.com. And then some people specialize in the Amazon. So we'll get these terracotta worlds from Alibaba. Uh, we'll, we'll label them Whirl of Wand, right? Because it's labeled Whirl of Wand here. Let me show you. I, I label everything for you, right? So all we have to do is get the stickers. And when we get the stickers, right? Uh, then we can put things together. It makes it easy. It's so easy. If you want to do it out of your garage, do it out of your garage. If you want to do it out of your house, do it out of your house, right? But you need a whirl of wand, right? If you're going to do any kind of artwork on terracotta pots, you need a whirl of wand, you know, and they're magnetic and they're fun. And what it is, is if you're 18 years of age and older, first of all, you can watch me burp on the TV if you so choose to cast it on the TV. But a lot of people do that. A lot of people do that. Right? A lot of people do that. A lot of people do that. So what I what I just want to show you here is uh, we label everything for you. So when you start getting involved with us here at terracottaworld.com, um, you'll see that we have these whirl of wands. Right? Let me try to get a little... Oh, we'll grab a whirl of wand to show you what I'm talking about. So everybody look right there. And we got a whirl of wand here in this hand, see? Let me put the light on. Clink. Look at that. Let's see if we can. Yeah, right there, right? So when I buy the stickers, it's going to say Whirl of Wand, part number TW, that's Terracotta Whirl, for all you people that are smart. WW, Terracotta Whirl of Wand, 2 4, because I invented it in 2 4. So and then it says Terracotta Whirl trademark, right? So everybody wants to gets involved, gets to play with the trademark and everything. Like it's a big deal. <clears throat> TM, Terry Card World TM, World Ones. So let's get back to like how I started my day after I had my oats and took a shower. I went to the store because I wanted to get exercise. And, and Ziggy, uh, what's the temperature outside? Right now, it's 37 degrees Fahrenheit. Today, expect a high of 45 degrees. So it was gorgeous. It was a gorgeous morning, by the way. Right? I'll tell you, it was gorgeous. I was thinking about flowers, and I was thinking about uh, different things like that. Because when you're, when you're in this type of weather, you just go outside, and you say to yourself, Whoa, stop, stop, stop! You say to yourself, Dude, you got to get out there and enjoy the good weather, because God knows... Um, if you're not into God, like, just cancel that out of your culture. The words, right? So anyways, I'm getting exercise, right? I'm trying to lose weight. I'm drinking water, not so much any coffee. And I go to my local bodega, right? Because we're going to fill bodegas with these boxes. So you go to your bodega. And if you're lucky, you get, like, into, like, 7-Elevens or, uh, um, you know, Panera's or wherever you, what's a bodega, uh, stop and shops, you can get connected, like everybody's connected with everybody, right? And you don't get scared, like, on Shark Tank, right? I mean, it's nice that they have their little people there, right? You know, to educate everybody, like, that's cool. Thank you, Kevin, right? But where are you for us, right? Where, did you invent any of this stuff? You can see it here. But I don't see any sharks anywhere, right? We got a view of the ocean. Is there any sharks out there? Nobody's coming to my rescue. So what we do is we come together as a society, right? People that just want to watch meandering videos with Joe on it, right? That's you, right? You're watching Terracotta World, right? And then the next episode is even, you know, probably less as good as this. So it all depends on where you start the series. But you got to get involved in terracottaworld.com on YouTube. So I went to my local bodega and I got myself a gift to box because uh, this is actually the one I bought this morning. Uh, I already had my terracotta world. I got it from Joe Nigro. He, the amazing terracotta world machine was invented in early 2023 by a man named Joe Nigro, right? And he made a lot of YouTube videos, 
But the story is that Mr. Nigro invented the terracotta whirl because he wanted to prove to his children yet again that if you have the burning desire, if you have the burning desire to do something, if you have control over your life, if you have the willingness and the, actually, if you have a, a wife that tolerates, um, li literally, like, some people like myself, right? I mean, let's be honest, right? Could we actually really listen to me for two hours? If you do, you get an award. You get the, uh, <clears throat> you get the Joe Nigro Award for, uh, like, thank you. Thank you. I need like a million people to watch an hour, one hour on my show. They'll give me a million hours. They'll give me a hundred thousand subscribers. A hundred thousand subscribers will help me produce the craft kits. I mean, it's, it's easy. We're going to do these craft kits. If you're involved in Terracotta World at all, you get licensing agreements with me through Kevin Leary. That's entertainment station, so I could say that, right? So some of us will be making up terracotta pots. You know, maybe we own um, a florist shop, right? And you're in a florist shop and you're looking and people coming in and they're like, what's that? And you're like, oh, that's a gift to box, right? Oh, okay, Mr. or Mrs. Florist, what's a gift to box? Then you turn on your terracotta pot because you have one of these all made up. And you go like, like legit, all you do is go look, right? If you want to buy a succulent, and, you know, say you're not getting the, um, uh, it comes with chi chia pet or something like that, right? Chia seeds, if you want. But we have them here for, uh, for our extra purchase because we got to make the florist money. Right. But the, if it's at a florist, right, should we put that chia crap in it? Maybe not, you know, because then we'd have to put another part in it, right? But I have the parts already made. They're right here. So what it is, if you're going to do a chia, right, and you're going you're gonna to have chia seeds, you can do it yourself. You just go buy chia seeds. What you do is you take this disc. Uh, this is from Terracotta World. This is Terracotta World. Go to Terracotta World, terracottaworld.com. And you can get this disc, right? This is a Chia disc, right? So this is the uh, Terracotta World. Uh, Terra, T-R-R-A-C-O-T-T-A-W-H-I-R-L with the trademark, because we're trademarked. Word mark, whatever. Terracotta World. This is the Terracotta World. So this is... This particular one, we're going to name this right now, right? Because we just invented it. So it's hashtag Terracotta World Chia Seed 24. So this is another little invention. Like the Chia Seeds, you can get those anywhere, right? Just go just go Chia Seeds on your, on your handheld and um, whatever. Like that ain't a handheld. That's why I got the phone off, right? So we just invented this. This is the Terracotta World, Terracotta World Chia Seed, Chia Seed. So you grab your Chia Seed, your bag of Chia, your Chia uh, these are your bag of Chias, right? And then you grab your bag of Chias out of this because where you went and got this gift box, right? This gift to box, they sold Chia Seeds, right? So they, uh, you know, they were like, oh, get the ones with the Chia, right? Because they don't want you to like talk about dirt and stuff, right? Because they just want to sell stuff. So you put your little Chia uh, number TW, Chia C24 pad there, right? You you apply your Chia seeds, empty them out, water it, apply your Chia seeds to the absolute finished pot, not these pots, right? And then you have what's called something else to sell, right? We'll all do this, right? It's so easy to freaking make money with this, right? Everybody that's watching this, go to terracottaworld.com. Again, if you're brave enough to make it to the end of this video, it's just me keeping on talking, right? And I and I, I roll the credits and I pretend I'm crazy, but 
like legitimately, if you go to terracottaworld.com and drop a comment, like if you drop a comment here on YouTube, what happens? Uh, that causes engagement, right? And when you, if you engage with me, right? If you engage with me, then what happens? Does the algorithm work that way anymore? You ever see the guy that sell, sells the pillows, right? The my my pillow guy. I got a creaky neck this today. It's like must be awful to watch, right? But I got a creak in my neck. Anyways, cinnamon brown, deco art, craft is acrylic, cinnamon brown. That guy, right? Uh, that sells the pillows. Like, dude, like that guy is like a spaz on TV, right? But I, I would like to sell stuff like he does, right? on this channel, on the YouTube channel, but I, I don't know if I can do that yet. I can't do that yet because we're not, we're not supposed to make money, right? Uh, part of the non-disclosure agreement. But we can uh, drive traffic to deco art, craft is acrylic, pure pumpkins. Now again, these came in a 12 pack uh, from Home Depot. Saved my life, saved my wife. Right, and then we have the other color here, which is Deco Art Craft is Acrylic uh, Dark Turquoise, two fluid ounces. Right, cool. Right, hope you can see that. We'll put a whirl of wand on it so you can see it. We'll give it all its uh, kudos right there. Right, the other thing we do with these uh, little things. Right, these uh, terracotta world. These are hashtag TW um, uh, Chia Chia what Chia seed twenty four. These are you grab these and you, instead of like taking in. And this is a beautiful terracotta pot. I got these at Michaels, by the way. I got that one at Keen's Florist uh, over in um, Peabody. But Michael's, they have all this stuff. Beautiful dish, 99 cents. Probably a Michael's pot. These are manufactured not by human beings. But anyways, the terracotta. So what you do is you put your thing in there, right? Like that. Maybe you just drop it or something. We have all the tools. Because when you buy a Vivo mini pottery wheel and you convert it, you get other stuff. Uh, cool stuff, right? So we got our terracotta world chia seed. Uh, top. It doesn't quite fit in the dish, uh, but let's just say we didn't have a dish. Uh, let's just say we were on the table, right? So you don't, you never want to put a cold drink on the table. So now you have your terracotta world, hashtag terracotta world CW24, and you can use it so you don't get yelled at because you're not going to put chia seeds in it. You might put dirt in it and grow a plant like everybody else does, right? The whole chia thing doesn't have to happen, right? That's a, just an upsell uh, for somebody, right? You don't have to buy into everything, right? Like, what, what good is it if you just buy everything, right? You won't have money, right? Like, I never have money. Look at me. I got, I got freaking whirl of wands. I'm doing a TV show, driving ta traffic to a station that doesn't exist, right? And it's stupid, because why? Because I retired and I'm having fun. This is what retirement looks like, people. Right, all right, so I'm going to the store this morning. It's freezing out, that's why I'm going to Puerto Rico, by the way. It's freezing here, all right? Let's not all get nervous and worked up. Let's listen to this dude for a, little, for a few seconds. Let's just calm down. And then, Kirby wanted to be a dentist, so they stayed at Tufts. Right, because that's cool. Who doesn't want to stay at Tufts? Right? So the, you stay at Tufts for a while. You've already been to Harvard to do your, uh, whatever the, whatever we learned at Harvard, Sarah. You remember those beautiful days in Cambridge, Sarah, that we spent <laughs> in Harvard Yard? And we used to say to ourselves, like, you're the Indian woman and I'm the guy from <laughs> Holy you know, crap. Listen Boston, to right? I'm just like a regular Joe from Boston.
Dude, you ain't no regular Joe. Man. Remember when our eyes first met Sarah? Dude, I remember. But I wanted to be a love story now. Yeah. Right. Now, you're saying that, right? But that's a little weirdo, Joe Joe. Let's see what this guy's saying. I like this guy. Look at the sky behind it, right? Let's get rid of this for a second, right? Let's put this down here. We get to advertise for ourselves, right? But we don't want to ruin the view. Look at the view. Everybody, concentrate out there, right? And just pretend that, like, um, try to take the volume on you. Put your headphones on and put the CCs on, because guess what? Sometimes I have guest speakers, right? Today we have Joe Nigro from Terracotta World. Uh, that He's our guest speaker, and he'll be talking to us. Uh, and this is what he has to say. Signia, that way, take our world along. And sort of slow, slow the show down for a second. Oop, that was the opposite way. So I'm whirling the, the motor shaft. It's going to be turned to me, right? But we, we have a beautiful thing happening here. Uh, inside, can't see, because Apple didn't give us our overhead cams yet. Right? We don't know how to do it. But you can see what getting, like, do it every time he says that, you know what I think? Right? I think you should do it with the camera right here, fresh. right? So that guy is always like, if you look real close in this video, he's got a camera right there. He's got this iPhone 13 Pro always in the film. And he's saying to himself, like, I wish I had a camera. I wish they would give me something. He wants shit for free, right? Well, guess what, buddy? You can't get nothing for free. You got to go out there and earn it. Right? You got to go earn earn things. You don't get nothing for free. That's <laughs> what a great morning we're having. I'm definitely going to paint this. <sighs> so the whole intent here is to talk about where I got that, how much space you need, how much fun you can have. What's this guy talking about? Ah, oh, shit, wrong button. As everybody knows, as you whirl... The center of gravity, like even me, I'm freaking out. I'm having so like calm time. Like I'm, I'm really a high strung dude, right? But for some reason, like now, like I am chill to the bone, right? Look at the cow, it looks good. Does that look good? It looks good inside, but the outside needs a little, a little something to be desired. It's, uh, it needs something to be desired. Ah, freaking cramp. <laughs> so. As we have something to be desired there, we need more... I really can't make it very far into that guy's show, right? Because he's not as interesting as me. But I can say that this show is going to start to speed up right now. <laughs> I went to the store this morning and I picked myself up a gift tube box. Because I already had my Terracotta Whirl. Uh, this is a splatter guard cart, right? But that comes inside the Terracotta Whirl with other things. But we want to get to this, right? Concentrate. Concentrate. All right, put the spotlight on it. Okay. So we picked up our... And then I got to put the pot stickers on this one, right? Because this one doesn't even have the pot stickers on it, right? There's a lot of work to do. Artwork. Hearts. Artwork. What comes in the gift to box, you might ask? One might ask themselves, uh, they might say, Joe, what comes in the gift to box, right? Well, first of all, this was the 2023 Terracotta World Sensory Kalito Art gift to box. It was beautiful. That sticker around only existed for one year. And that's the beauty of Terracotta World. These holographic stickers that have a built-in QR code and a chip that can track you down. Because you always want to keep track of your pot, right? Getting hot. Baked earth, right? There's no hidden chips. Like, there's a thing going online, right? That Joe Nigro... Is because uh, he knows AI and stuff like that. He puts chips in his terracotta pots, right? To uh, fool you, right? Like, uh, why would I put a chip inside the pot, right? Uh, 
uh, we all had our shots, our COVID shots, right? And I'd like to thank our sponsor, Bing. Hello, Bing. Um, let's let's get something straight, Bing. When you ask me to put ChatGPT4 on, Bing, right? It's like out of the free one, right? So I get the free uh, Bing app. It's called Copilot. Hi, Copilot. Hi, Bing. Hi, Copilot. This is Joe Nigro at Terracotta World. We know you're listening. This is what I look like. I got the purple hoodie. I'm a good looking guy. Sometimes I have a lot of hair. I don't usually have glasses. Freaking handsome, they're like thumbnails, right? Uh, I was a girl there for a while. Making thumbnails is fun. That's part of the AI, right? Uh, if we go to our, um, if we go to our, um, another thing we did is we invented this. Uh, as you're watching the video, there's a little icon. Zoom in, you'll see a little icon. What I did was I sexied it up, right? I took I took this beautiful sim simple uh, thing right here. We'll get a we'll get a pointer. What do we like to point with, right? It's getting freaking hot in here. Criminy crackers. Oh. God, it's like I'm supposed to be relaxing. Did you know I retired? Right? Legit, I retired like many, many moons ago. Right? So let's let's uh, point with this. Okay? And let's make a point. Well, we're pointing. First of all, the majority of people want to go to terracottaworld.com to get your to get all your stickers, right? Because in 20, Q4 2024, uh, we're going to give you some really good videos uh, that we concentrate. We can't concentrate here in um, Salem, Massachusetts, because uh, downstairs is the Ministry of Donuts. And every donut sold on the entire planet gives vig or gives money to the Ministry of Donuts. So if you want to look up Ministry of Donuts and you're in Salem, Massachusetts, knock on their door. Right? Because you can't even, like, you can't even concentrate. There's so much. Look at, look at, like, imagine having, the, imagine having to work here every single day. <sighs> so anyways, what we did um, in the early days of 2023. Ziggy, what's today's date? Ziggy, what's today's date? It's Friday, February 9th. Sarah, Sarah, when did we last see each other? Well, we went to four years of Harvard. Then we hopped over to MIT. And then where did we go? We went down to Tufts. Then we went over to Northeastern. Anyways, that's yes yesterday's edition of this show. It's playing on all kinds of devices other than the iPhone 15 Pro. We could actually have a plane. I have an Echo, right? Echo, what's today's date? It's Friday, February 9th. Yeah, so Ziggy, hi. Hello there. I hope your day is out of this world. Yeah. If there's some far out fun, just say, tell me a joke. Ziggy, tell me a joke. How does NASA organize a party? They plan it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I'll tell you. Being locked up here, up here in jail. Do you see the bird? Being locked up in here in jail. And, allow, and they're allowing me to do all this from my cell, right? Uh, I have this little cell here, a concrete cell. I call it my terracotta nexus. Um, but that would be a good story, right? Let's not start that crap, right? We don't want everybody to think that everything I say is nothing. But, like, literally, when you watch Seinfeld, right? Like, what did they do? I was studying, like, what to do in life. And then I said, Seinfeld, like, he's funny, right? But, like, what about it is funny? Like, they just talk about regular things in life. So then I endeavored in my brain cells 
uh, to culture up and cultivate. You hear me? You hear these big words? It said cultivate. Cultivate. Put your CCs on. Whenever you're watching Joe and I go to terracottaworld.com. Terracottaworld.com. You want to watch Joe and I go to terracottaworld.com. I went down and got a gift to box uh, earlier today at my local bodega. Because uh, I was thinking of this particular person. Uh, of which we're going to name. So what, who was I thinking of? Oh. Uh, Jeez, um, I can't. I don't have any friends either, apparently. All right. So what happens when you go and get your gift to box? Right? So you go and get your gift to box for a friend. Right? And what's in the gift to box? Right? Well, let's get to that. Right? So let's put this all out of the way. We have our World of Wands. You know, we bought everything from terracarworld.com. We have a friend, apparently, right? Uh, we go get our box at the bodega because now we have a friend. And what's in it? What's in the box? All right, so this is a gift to box, right? It's got a QR code that goes to terracottaworld.com. This is an old one, but you can look at the QR code. Um, if you want, you can scan that one. Uh, it used to go to Sensory Kaleido Art. Uh, so why don't we scan this, everybody? Let's see if we can use our AI. Scan that. Now, why in 2023 did we have the QR code on everything we did? You know, my family might be thinking, like, dude, like, what's with the QR code? Well, the QR code went to Sensory Kaleido Art, of which it still does, right? Apparently, I guess. We, we could do it, but we don't have enough equipment, right? Then we worked at the hospitals, remember that? And we're trying to get the FDA approval together for the Terracar world. You know, when I say you should have your closed captioned on, it's because we, we have a lot of fun. We're like, uh, I got a friend called DJ Dave. Senior Israeli Air Force officer who is believed to have directed spying, a government source said Saturday. Ziggy, what's today's date? It's Thursday, February 8th. Like legit, right? I don't even get that, right? If anybody knows what's going on in the year 2024, right? Yeah, so I went down to the local bodega, right? And I got myself one of these gift to boxes. And what was in the gift to box was amazing, right? Was it the beautiful, wonderful terracotta world? No, because uh, we have one of those at my house, right? Because uh, we definitely already had a, a terracotta world. That's why we got to sell a million of them, right? You know, it has to be like that, right? We need to sell terracotta worlds all over the planet. Um, uh, why? Because then we can go buy gift to boxes, right? And if we buy gift to boxes, right? Oh, hey there. If we buy gift to boxes, then we make more money because someone else is going to produce those, right? Our game is to get everybody to make them, right? They're called, uh, apparently they're called um, something to like crafters kits or something. It wasn't like a bad conversation I had with this dude. It was just one that he's never going to forget. And who's he? It's me. Like, you know what I mean? Did that really happen? Of course it happened. I used to send people lobsters, right? Why did I send people lobsters? Because I'm from, I'm from Massachusetts. And I'd be like, I'd be like, yo, this is Joe from Massachusetts. Massachusetts Joe is sending you lobsters. Then the recipient would be very pleased with the free box of lobsters. And if I'm just trying to get some dude's attention, like um, maybe I'm trying to get like Rockefeller's attention because I have a uh, I have a lead on something, right? So what would Rockefeller do in that situation? 
Well, he would take advantage of it, right? He would exploit the fact that he had a lead. You know, Rockefeller made a lot of money, right? But what this fella did was I sent some lobsters to different people throughout my life, right? For not Rockefellerish reasons, for selfish reasons. Like, I just wanted to have fun. Like, the terracotta whirl I built for my family, right? Uh, now I have a ton of fun. I produce a a series on uh, on the uh, YouTube. It's called um, Terracotta World, trademark, at Terracotta World, trademark. I was almost going to go on to the other side of this, right? Um, but I don't have to. Uh -huh. Now, see, that's cool, right? This is what the terracotta world is all about, right? Right here. Look. Now it's boring. Now it's not. It's like wicked cool, right? So now we can talk about what we did today. And, you know, we'll shine a little light on this. Shine a little light on me. Which one? This one. Boink. Yeah, look at that. It's beautiful. That's a whirl of wand. All right. So we went down to the bodega today and we got ourselves uh, a terracotta pot because we were thinking of Sam, Sam the butcher. So we went down to Sam the butchers and we, the other day, right? And Sam was like, hey, Joe, how you doing? Like I seen you on the terracottaworld.com and then I pressed the button and all of a sudden I heard this. Uh, it was a convenient way. Actually, uh, what I did was I gave everybody a set of these nice, cool, cool ones here. Uh, right there, they're cool, right? I gave those out for Christmas, along with the, you know, other stuff. But it was very fun. We had a lot of fun. Uh, we did that nicely. You know, we just chibba jabbering with Sarah. Sarah's having breakfast. Nope, today we got Sam, right? So I was at the local um, butchers, Sam the Butchers, right? And Sam was really nice to me. So I said, hey, Sam, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something nice for you. And Sam was like, ha, you don't have to do nothing. Plus, he knew I was a little cheap, right? But uh, that's neither here nor there, right? Because my cheapness, like... Um, like, legit, like, I'm doing something nice for Sam, right? And he thinks I'm cheap. Right? That ain't right. That ain't right at all. Anyways, I like Sam, right? The butcher, right? So I went to Sam the Butchers. And, um, Sam helps me out a lot. Sam the Butcher. <laughs> so, Sam helped me out. So now I'm going to gift him a terracotta pot. Because he's been my friend for all these years, right? I live here in Salem, Massachusetts. <clears throat> And there's a place called Sam the Butchers. So I went down to Sam's and I said, hey Sam, how you doing? I need some butching. He butched, right? So I was like, hey Butch, the Sam, Sam guy. So now I'm buying him a gift to box. So I went down to the local bodega next to Sam the Butchers, right? The Bung Ho Liquor Store. Now look it up, Bung Ho Liquors, Salem, Massachusetts. Very famous, right? So now we're at Sam the Butchers, right? And we get, and we get next door to the bunghole liquors, right? Why are we at the bunghole liquors? Because we get the 411 that at bunghole, they're going to be selling the gift to boxes, right? So all of a sudden, we're at the bunghole, right? And we go to the bunghole liquors and we grab ourselves a gift to box for the bunghole. I mean, the guy, uh, a bunghole is something we use when we make wine. Anybody that... Makes wine knows that a barrel full of wine has a bunghole in it. Right? So we're at the bunghole liquor store grabbing some uh, gift to boxes. We weren't grabbing wine. <coughs> dribble, 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 dribble. So we weren't we didn't grab any wine at the bunghole liquors, right? We just grabbed some water and we put it in our uh, Puerto Rican glass. 
At least that's how the story is going to go from now on. <sighs> See how that's whirling? Everybody pay attention to the terracotta world. Oh, look at the birds. Like, you can do whatever you want. You can chill out to that. You can chill out to the constant drone of my voice. You can have yourself a glass of wine. I don't mean to imply there's wine in here because I'm just kidding. All right. So I pour water in there, right? Because you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't mix wine with water, right? Right? Why would you do the wine with water, right? You wouldn't. So just to prove it's water, right? See, there's a see-through element, and it's called purified water from Wellesley Farms. What we're doing is we're plugging Puerto Rico because we would like them to. Um, nothing, we're going there, we just love you. Alright, so we poured water in there to prove to the audience that we are not sneaking wine. Ziggy, what time is it? The time is 11.20 a.m. Yeah, it's not even 5 o'clock here yet, right? So, like, we ain't gonna get any wine, right? We're just gonna use that for water because we like Puerto Rico. And we're all sedate, so we're, now we're going to talk about what we did. All right, Sam, this is Sam the Butcher now, right? Whenever we think of this terracotta pot, we say, all right, we grabbed our terracotta pot, right? No, what did we get? We, we pulled stuff out of the box, right? This is the gift to box, right? So what do we do? We, we grab everything out of the gift to box. Schwank. Whoa. Oh, there's a chia thing. All right, so see, I didn't do nothing. Like, there was no magic there, right? This is what came in the gift to box, right? But you can't get rid of your gift to box, right? Why don't you get rid of your gift to box? Very, very, very important point. All right, let's just put everything right here. So you saw me take everything out of the gift to box. Now it's empty, right? We bought this at the bodega. It has a QR code on it, like it's a barcode. That's how they scanned it in, right? But we don't check the freaking thing, <laughs> right? We don't check it, man, because we're gonna use the box, right? Because we're gonna gift it to somebody. So if we're whirling with love for you, we're not gonna wreck the planet. Like, look at the planet. Like, just look outside at these birds, right? So. Like when I talk about doing things, right? You know, these this box here, right? When you get the terracotta whirl, right? The box is used for rags or it's used for, uh, in this case, uh, we made this terracotta box into a bucket to hold our signs. Uh, we also noticed that the terracotta whirls from Vivor uh, came with a cooler, like legit, like, um, get a terracotta world sent to you from vivor.com or, or Walgreens or maybe Walmart. And then you can get something that has a, like, or if you go on alibaba.com and you like search it up because you're going to make a million dollars with this under my, under the radar, it'll let me know. <coughs> Call it something else. Something schwanky. Like, that'd be cool. Like, who gives it a crap, right? But anyways... We're, so we got this gift to box for Sam, right? And we're not going to wreck the earth, so we, we save our box. And then when we're done with everything, we take a, a finished terracotta pot and we gift it to somebody. We already have filmed for hours and hours talking about you, Sam. Sam, this, this, today is for you, okay? And what came in the box, Sam? Let's talk about that. Try not to get distracted. It's beautiful out there. Let's turn on something that people don't get distracted about. Right, let's not look at this pot. All right, so what came inside the gift to box, ladies and gentlemen? Well, let me tell you. Let me be ama let me amaze you. Let me put it back in the box as I tell you. All right, so what we do is we take this and we fold it that way. And we're also giving you a lesson because if you're a florist or if you're somebody that sells things online, right, you're gonna want to sell these uh, gift to boxes. Um, because you want to make money, right? So you want to go to terracottaworld.com, 
you want to get the boxes and the things or you want to call me up and you want to say you got a better way to do it, right? But whatever it is, call it terracottaworld.com, drive traffic to yourself, right? Make a lot of money, right? But what comes in this particular gift two box? Well, the original gift two box came. <sighs> came with this beautiful piece of um, came with this beautiful piece of uh, packing material right it's green right it's see-through but most of all it was the minimum amount of material um, that we could purchase that would last forever like our terracotta pots that we could reuse right so then we have inside the box, we have very simply a terracotta pot that's pre-washed. They also come pre-numbered, right? And the number is on the uh, on that. Now, do it, does it come pre-numbered? No. Does it come pre-numbered? Yeah. All right, it already comes pre-numbered. So the person that put this in there put the number on it. The number on it corresponds with the QR code that comes inside the box. Pretty simple to follow along with, right? Why is there a QR code in the box and why is it pre-numbered? Because when you initiate your camera with the QR code, it brings you to terracottaworld.com. You click on open app. It opens the free app. You could download it on, um, well, you could download it on YouTube. Uh, no, you can't download it on YouTube, right? So we got our partners. You can download the app at um, any app store, Amazon, Google App Store, Google Play, um, the one with the Apple apps, app, it's just apps, right? Um, X is coming out with their apps. Metaverse, if you wanna do this in the metaverse, you could do anything with the glasses. We, we do have, uh, <clears throat> Part of what we're doing too with Apple and all the other people is like a lot of people don't want to have this crap everywhere, right? But they do want to have the sensory Kalito artifact, right? So they just want to settle down and they just want to sit there and they want to grab their paintbrush from the metaverse, right? And they want to take their paints and they want to take it in the metaverse. And they want to paint, you know, they want to put teal on it. Then they want to put pumpkin orange on it. Then they want to put cinnamon brown on it, right? And when you do it in the metaverse, you could set it to um, actual um, or literal, which means it takes all my data and the types of brushes I use. And if you choose this brush, um, this is brush TW, PB001, right? And it'll give you the effect of this brush as opposed to a sponge brush, right? So in the metaverse, you could do everything. Everything's already available that's not available now that will be available in the future is available on the metaverse. So if you want to go to the metaverse platform, if you get a set of those glasses, you go to the Apple platform. Anybody that basically sells the Apple glasses, you could get into the metaverse and do all of this for free now, uh, you, you do have to sign into the terracottaworld.com. And your works of art, every work of art in the metaverse is similar to your own work of art here at the house. Because when you do it in the metaverse, no, no two pots can be alike. Um, if you wanna do a metaverse robot, right? Um, and this is kind of cool um, because what it does is all terracottaworld.com um, data is being stored in um, Lacey, uh, Lacey the Dinosaur, right? So Lacey the Dinosaur holds all the storage for terracottaworld.com. And why do we want to do that? Because we're developing on, across the globe we're developing what the colors are that certain sectors of the world are whirling with. And how, why is that? Because it's all psychological, right? The psychological events that occur. Uh, I could do this forever, right? So anyways, I'm inside the Terracotta World machine box, right? So I get a box at the bodega, right? Let's just finish this up. 
Holy crap, I could do that forever. <laughs> so it, it's got pot stickers in it, right? It's got all the stuff I just described. Uh, it's got the chia pet, um, the chia thing. It's not chia pet, chia seed thing that we could use to put our dishes on, right? It all comes like this inside your terracotta pot, inside your gift tube box, just like that, snuggly, duggly, buggly, right? So Sam, like legit, like where did I go? What the frick time is it? Oh my God, Sam. <clears throat> anyway, Sam, I'm doing a lot of thinking about you, buddy. All right, now let's get into this pot, right? Um, I got an itchy butt over my foot, imagine? That's like stupid. I'm gonna scratch it, I guess. Okay. Well, thanks for sticking around. Now that we uh, absolutely know that everybody's bored here, right? What we're going to do is we're not going to put our wine, water, our water and wine, um, in anything that um, will make a mess, right? So we'll grab one of these uh, pointed things that comes with the Vivo mini pottery wheel. <clears throat> That thing works so good, right? Just being in its presence calms you the fuck down, right? So cool. <sighs> What's this guy saying? Um, it's greater, right? It's a little, uh, little thing you're going to learn when, as you whirl, as the world turns. Right? It's a beautiful thing. So, yeah, so I always like to start inside. I like to pull the paint up on the inside because it looks beautiful. That's why we're going to get overhead cameras. And on the outside, we just, uh, you know, get our palette here, right? We got our beautiful paint all over our brush. And we slowed it down. You see what we do? We attacked it a little bit, but we slowed it down, right? Why do we slow it down? Because if you attach the brush, uh, well, the brush is... Um, Let's say the brush is full of paint, like I just had it full of paint. And if I just went like a, a little, like, innocent little trinket of a person, a human trinket of a kindness person, and I was like, oh, kind terracotta pot. Like, it would just splatter it with so go, bam, right? And now it's like, you might get a little heavy spot or whatever, right? But, you know, you try not to. But when you start learning how to whirl, it just becomes so nice. I'm going to turn it around. Because uh, I whirl right, um, and I do want to get Sarah uh, a little primed a little better. And what I do is I, I use this motion here, right, because, uh, you know, that's how I feel. All right, so f apparently from what we're learning from Joe there at Terracotta Whirl is that <clears throat> we can mix the paints right inside the bucket. And that's going to work out just swimmingly for us today because what we'd like to do is we'd like to just like let that thing go like that. And we'd just like to arbitrarily pick colors uh, and put them in there, right? And see what happens, right? We're going to use a sponge brush. We already have the sponge brush prepared. Um, oh, I got an itchy heel. Like if you have itchy palms, that means you're going to make money or something, right? But what does an itchy heel do for you? Let's see if Joe knows. Uh, engage with the motor, the slower the motor goes, allowing us to get in every nook and cranny. Then we let it go and we rub the brush across, or we could put it on faster and it would take more pressure for the pot to uh, relax, you know, calm the F down, whatever you're gonna say. But nobody watches as far into the videos. If you are so watching true. As far into the it's it's video, like so good, right? Knowing that, um, if, you know, thanks, Joe. Uh, let me station. just take the, over the to my channel, right? All right, so we got a lot of help. We got a lot of helpers out there, right? This guy, I think he went away. Did he go away? Or we could put it on. Fast, got, I still got him. We're just going to put him on, like, pause, right? So. 
right now we know that inside the terracotta world, right? And I think we got to hurry up, right? Because we're losing time. There's an hour and 26 minutes, right? Mm. And this has been going an hour and 24 minutes. And we want to make all these videos uh, about an hour or two hours, right? So at some point, I'm going to have to finish. And why do we make them two hours? Well, um, conventional wisdom says that anything you do, um, you want to do and have fun with, right? So whenever I look into the uh, analytics and I listen to people on YouTube and I do all that stuff to learn things, right? Then I read, right? And then I read everything, right? And what people say when they have a YouTube channel, they go boppity, 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 bop, but this so last year. And legit, last year was 2003 and this is 2004. Some people are starting to get the giggy with it, right? They're kind of like getting like how the new thing works. Like, uh, you know, some people already know how AI works, right? Some people get it. And then other people are just going to do the same crap over and over again. And, it, and it'll just be stupid, right? Ziggy, what time is it? It's 11.35 a.m. Oh, what do we want to have for dinner? Hey, Sam. So Sam has a sub shop, right? Um, and let's talk to Sam about that as we're adding colors, right? So Sam, uh, we're thinking about you. We got a palette here. Right, we'll put that palette up here, like that. Um, and we'll, actually, we're gonna take the palette and we're gonna sort of put the colors on that are inside there, right? So, Sam, uh, I'm looking for a sandwich, right? Uh, what's my favorite sandwich, Sam? My favorite sandwich is a, a, a liverwurst Swiss cheese with onion on dark, dark bread with mustard. And what does Sam say? Ah, oh, crap, I didn't do it right. I was supposed to do this. And they added a wicked lot, right? Here's white, right? Deco art, um, craft is acrylic, white, right? What does that look like in there? It just looks white. There's like nothing to see. We have no overhead camera capacity because we're using that one as a prop. But Apple will come to the rescue. I'm sure of it. Just as sure as I was sure that that sign was there. All right, so when we have a pot, right? A lot of people like to take the primer and they like to prime it with white, right? And what does that do? It gives you a nice clean palette, but with regard to what we're doing here, all terracotta pots are porous, right? Um, so here we go with the spiel, but because all terracotta pots are porous, just like humans, we're all born terracotta, like a sponge, right? But, uh, what we'll do is we'll put this on our palette. So you see what we're doing? We have a palette dish. So every time we put our palette on our palette dish, uh, what we do is we invent like this beautiful thing that we're making, right? And we're gonna prime it with love, so we got love primer on it, so it's okay. We just gotta be prepared if it gets on our hands, because that freaks me out, right? So we're gonna be a little careful when we talk about that. Right? I was gonna do something, but I got a little nervous, right? Uh, what was I gonna get? I forget what I was gonna get. Um, Pot a pot, the terracotta pot might want to grow up and be in the film industry. I get it. That one. Tried whirling it on top of this earlier. It was like, but it fell. Yeah. Right, let's be careful. <laughs> this terracotta. Everybody, pot, be careful, uh, okay? We we all want to be we all want to be cautiously optimistic that we can make it through this episode without anybody getting hurt, okay? Right, let me just back this up a little bit. We'll back these up a little bit because uh, now we're going to get into the actual painting, right? So we're going to need a little more time on the clock, right? Uh, it's going to make a lot of interesting 
thumbnails for us. We're at an hour and 29 minutes. And that's good because when we have people watch our videos and they make it through the apprentice program, which is trying to listen to me for hours and hours, then they, if they succeed, right? I mean, God forbid, right? The poor bastards, right? Um, excuse my language, but imagine like just listening to me for hours and hours and hours and then like leaving a comment, right? And saying like, you didn't say nothing like dude like literally if you want to paint a terracotta pot paint a terracotta pot with your craft is acrylic from deco art but like make it a little more interesting right like we don't see the inside like literally you can't see what i'm doing and that must stink right basically i'm doing this on the inside right a little more pressure on the outside. But all I'm doing is I'm taking and I'm moving the brush against it like this, right? Let's get that out of the way. Like this, right? As it's whirling. And what is that doing? Well, like we keep saying, all we're all born terracotta. If you go to terracottaworld.com, I think it says that. Let me check. We'll go to terracottaworld.com, terracottaworld.com, and what do they say? It says, we are all born terracotta and world with love for you. I spelt it all right. I hit the YouTube button on terracotta. I hit the YouTube button. I'm prepping. Anyways, I hope everybody's enjoying the uh, thumbnails. It takes a long time. I'm putting all this effort and love. Thumbnails are generated. I got myself playing twice on that one. That's cool. Anyway, so all I'm doing with this, right? Like sometimes it gets in the nut. We'll show you the overheads uh, later because what we're going to do is as we develop into more uh, progressive AI, we're always going to have an overhead camera uh, pointing down at the terracotta whirl, right? Because we want to always try to keep it whirling, right? Plus, we get to put the colors on it and you get to see as the colors uh, start becoming something, right? Uh, because... This in ah, I got a cramp in my foot. Cramps, cramps. People that know about cramps should give us a call. Everybody on cramp patrol. Oh, I hate foot cramps. My brother said it's because of the whiskey. Ugh. Oh, god. All right, I don't have the cramp anymore. All right, so here we are at our um, at our terracotta world headquarters. If you want to look up there, see the beautiful sky. It's ever evolving. It's beautiful. I'll try to speak up um, if I can. Ziggy, what time is it? The time is 11.42 a.m. 11.42 plus 8 is 11.52. So 12 o'clock is 18 minutes from now, right? So by 18 minutes, we'll have that all uh, colored up and whirled, right? So, Ziggy, set a reminder for 18 minutes that you promised everybody that you were torturing by talking to them that the video would be over in 18 minutes. Ziggy, set a reminder for 18 minutes. What's the reminder for? What do you want to be... To wrap okay, it up. I'll remind you in 18 minutes. Remind me to wrap it up. Okay, I added wrap it up for this afternoon at noon. Thanks. No problem. Yeah, so if you're wondering why it's AI, right? It's because I allow all the AI to have a symbiotic relationship with me. Uh, how do I do that? I, I am AI myself. Because you, you heard that I didn't use Siri. Siri. Hey, Siri. What's my... Hello. I can't help you with that. Yeah. So Ziggy, what, what's today's date? Ziggy, what's today's date? Today is Friday, February 9th. Yeah. So AI is getting really good, right? Um, and we're all going to have a lot of fun with AI in the future, uh, especially when they release facial recognition, right? 
But we're not going to talk about all that conspiracy shit right now, right? What we're going to do is realize that nobody's listening, right? There's nothing to worry about. We're going to just take our sponge brush, right? We're not going to care what is happening here because we're going to have more paint in here. But we wanted it to dry a little bit because we're not... What we're, what we're doing here is we're adding... We're making a colorful uh, base to this palette. Right, so what we're doing is we're priming this pot with love, right? Uh, and what we have is we have a love primer, and we call that love primer number TWLP23. All this stuff is right here. It's right. Oh, we have the pot artist. We have, oh the pot stickers. Pot part number TWPS23. Like, and then the terracotta world, the the pot assembly kits. The uh, splatter card guard. If you want the splatter card guard, whoa! If you want the splatter card guard, go to terracottaworld.com and put in part number, hashtag TWPSC, uh, paint splatter card. Paint splatter card. Paint splatter card always gets me. Anybody ever notice that? They call it a splatter guide card. All right, now we got to make a decision, right? So let's think. Yeah. It's quite a place. Uh, is so what, what do you get yes. when you open the gift box? Mm -hmm. you there, well, let's first establish that downstairs, downstairs, you have yourself a terrifying machine. Oh, Sarah. Oh, Sarah. <laughs> you mounted your pot mm -hmm. assembly code mm -hmm. on top of it. So we're gonna pick out a bunch of brushes. We're gonna cut a bunch of things. That's freaking cool, right? Yeah. So, so we're gonna pick out a bunch of brushes. We wanna see a little whirl and have a bunch of moves that are okay. Zero. These are kind of big in the gift two bars. It's like a spot of whirl. Zero. Okay. So we're going to use the splatter around in the gift to the box. So we're going to come in and use the stuff off. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take the stuff off. And you get a gift to the box. And we're going to whirl the stuff off. So we're going to do this pot of love for you, Sarah. We're just going to do a lot of different things. I want you to say you're my boyfriend. Beautiful. You're looking so charming. Pretty, 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 Sarah. So Sarah, you look so pretty, 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 Sarah. So inside the show, I love So Sarah's looking good. Terracotta pot. Sarah, what are you wearing? Wash it. Wash it. Anyway, Sarah's a terracotta pot. And it also has the water. Sarah, what are you wearing? Anyway, so a lot of what we realize in life, right, is we create our own noise, right? Um, that was an example of sensory Kalito art, right? We have a beautiful pot that's whirling in front of us, waiting to be painted. This one happens to be painted before. And um, this one I use as my, my go-to when I want to relax, right? I'm trying to let that dry a little. I'm trying to make a video. I'm trying to have fun. Um, but most of all, I want to think of Sam, right? And uh, I was very distracted because life distracts you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slow, slow the pace down a little bit, quiet things down. And I'm going to think of all the beautiful things about when I think of Sam and Sam the Butcher. All right. So I guess we need some color um, from here, right? So everybody can see, see him as he progresses, right? So the one thing we know about Sam, right, is Sam is a man. Um, how do you know that? Because maybe you watch the Brady Bunch, right? And we're talking about Sam the Butcher. But anyway, Sam's a guy, right? Nice guy, beautiful, wonderful man. Uh, talks to my maid, Alice, a lot. So Sam and Alice have a thing, right? And they think they're hiding it from me, right? But I'm, like, wicked smart, right? Like, Sam comes over to the house and he's like, yo. And I'm like, dude, like, 
why are you over a house? And he's like, I'm delivering you meat. <laughs> So I'm like, Sam, this is rated G, this station, right? So Sam the Butcher on the Brady Bunch comes over to the Brady Bunch's house and delivers his meat all the time, right? So Sam's got a lot of cannolis, right? So we're going to give him some darkness here, right? We're going to give Sam some navy blue, all right? Because Sam the Butcher... Comes over to the house to see the my my housekeeper Alice, because I'm pretending to be on the Brady Bunch, and he delivers his meat. Right? And did I tell you this channel is rated R? Like that's the reason why it's rated R because I'm 57 and I'm whirling and I'm having fun. This ain't a kid thing, by the way. Right? Everybody just chill out, right? So Sam's got a lot of cannolis, so he's gonna be dark blue. Right, he's navy blue. It's a deco art, crafter's acrylic paint, navy blue. Right, so we're gonna put a little navy blue in there. Right, just a little, just a little navy blue. We're gonna put the lights on so we can see it as it develops. Oh, there's a little, there's a little snort on there, so we want to pick that off, right? Now let's hold the show. We could pick that off right into our bucket, right? Because we got a bucket here. Now what's on that side, my friend? So we'll just put a bucket here. Now we'll pick off this little this little piece here. We got a tool, another tool they gave us when we bought stuff. Oh, Sam. So that might have caused like a disruption, right? But <clears throat> All I can say is, if you've been whirling as much as me, right? First, you know that you need several implements to relax, right? Because life is just not worth being stressed, I'll tell you. Like, if I was in that plane and I was heading that way, like, I know that's self, because there's no, I never see any sun. All right, Sam, baby. We want to show everybody this beautiful manly sam's delivering the, the the produce from sam's meat market all right so sam you're going over here like this bm sam bm 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 oh not too much blue bm correct correct now sam it would behoove me to think of Alice when I think of you. Why do I think of Alice? Because like, I'm a guy. Like, I'm thinking you're, like, coming over to the Brady Bunch house to see Alice because you want to, like, give her, like, you want to say hello because you're a nice man, right? And what do nice men do? They say, hey, Alice, how's it going? Right? And Alice says, great. I'm here in the kitchen with my little uh, uniform on because I'm a nurse. And you say, oh, oh, Alice, I love that little uniform nurse you have on. And uh, here's where we come into trouble, right? That's why the channel is rated R. Because my brain is censoring something to do with you, Sam. You, you should have been nice. Like, I didn't quite put that whole thing together. Like, when I was a kid, I was like, Sam the Butcher, right? That's why I even said it, right? But Sam the Butcher, think about it. Like, what if Sam the Butcher was on, like, a TV program where he was Sam the Butcher, but he killed people, right? If he was on that show, what was that show, Sam? Remember that show, buddy? The Sam show, right? It, was, it wasn't really the Sam show, right? But what it was was, uh, it was, it was like, it was a butcher, right? It was like one of those, one of those shows with uh, people that, you Sam the Butcher, it was, uh, it, was, um, it was a series called The Sopranos on when everybody was a child, right? But they went into the butcher shop. What did they see in the butcher shop? Well, they didn't see Sam doing the right thing, that's for sure. The Sam, was, Sam had his bone saws and stuff like that, right? You know, it's a family show, supposedly. It's a family show. 
Here at Terracotta World, we're all about family. What we want to do is we, we want to grab our pot. Um, we want to grab our dish, right? Our um, pallet dish, right? And we want to empty out uh, some of our... Um, we want to shake something, right? So we're going to think about Sam as we sh we're, we're taking care of this brush. Emptying out some color onto the... Uh, the, it's like a Pollock type thing. That's why deco art is so cool, right? Because deco art can mean many things, right? Um, Whirl a wand incident. Did everybody see that? Everybody stop everything in their tracks, right? Now we have to get in there without getting anything on us, right? So we have to be real careful. <clears throat> we gotta get ready. I got my I got my stuff. I got my rags the rag up there so we're going in for the world one okay <clears throat> now if we get any acrylics on us at all it won't mean nothing but to me it's like yucky so i don't throw it Whew. look what we found back there right if we weren't back there to get the world of one right we wouldn't see that this was back there right so we'll flip this over there out of the way right maybe that's out of the way yeah. All right, now we got an extra whirl of wand. Where was it? Where was ya? Anyway, wherever you was, you didn't do good because you fell. Right? Uh, we'll put this whirl of wand over. Not all whirl of wands have to work. Right? We don't need all the whirl of wands to work, do we? No. We certainly don't. All right, let's get into the zone. Sensory clear to art, do your thing. Count me down. So when people talk about the chakras, right, they talk about finding their center, right? You talk about meditation. Um, you talk about different things like that. Um, yet you don't have yourself a terracotta world, right? These particular colors on the terracotta world right here, the brown, the cinnamon brown, the pumpkin orange, the dark teal, <clears throat> They're actually very soothing. The inside of this pot's pretty soothing too, because uh, it's got a lot of um, sam in it, right? So we're we're taking this pot and we're putting sam all in it. Sam's like a macho macho man. I'm the one that delivers um, produce to the Brady Bunch family. I should probably get off the Brady Bunch thing, right? That's stupid. Like. But I like the Brady Bunch, and I, and I have a friend, Sam, that works at a butcher. So Sam the Butcher's at the butcher shop, right? And he's whirling away. And then he comes over to the house, right? But when he comes over to the house, just to pigeonhole everybody into being blue and pink, obviously if we have a revealing party, if uh, Sam the Butcher is a guy, he's going to be blue. Right? But what is Alice going to be? Is Alice going to be pink? Right? What do we think about when we think about Alice? What about Alice? Right? Well, Alice, uh, you're going to have to be some kind of alter color, right? I think when he thinks of you, you're, you're like his daffodil. So we're going to go with yellow. Right? Maybe that was a little different for people, right? To see the yellow happen. Right? But... You know, sometimes we just have to, like, get ourselves into a different mode. Like, I wasn't going to go with red. Because red's like a color all to itself. Daffodil is beautiful. Right? Daffodils. Can we see that? That would be beautiful. Oh, yeah, you can. Only an hour and 48 minutes into this, right? Everybody can see the beautiful artwork. What we gotta do is we gotta light it up with our whirler wand. Whirler wand, whirler wand. Come to me. All right. Now let's get some daffodil going. Set the tone. All right. 
little bit of Alice. Sam, here's your little girlfriend, your daffodil. Daffodil, daffodil, daffodil. So now we have our daffodil in there. We're very calm. We have our palette. Everything's going good. We have a brush that got flunked over here. And then we can see we can play with this out here. We could put a little yellow down here. Right? Oh, well, we're having fun, right? We're thinking about Sam and his Alice. You know, Alice is playing out with Sam on the terracotta pot. Right? Everything's going good. Right in here. I like to pull this up, right? Pull. Pull it up. Let it go against, like when you pull it, pull it, pull it. And you want to empty your brush, right? Because we have some nice, beautiful yellow happening inside the pot, right? We have some beautiful yellow happening because we're going like this inside the pot, right? And we're getting a beautiful yellow in there, right? And it's starting to look nice and beautiful inside there, but it's whirling. And when it's whirling, it's getting into the pores, right? But we're doing sort of... Actually, Cole taught me this method. Um, my buddy of mine, he's a whirl of coal. He's good. But this is what he does. He calls it um, resting, resting. He rests his pots like this. Um, he doesn't whirl it that fast, but he. this is how he rusts his pot. Right? Uh, so he gets a rusty pot look like with that. And that's good. We're doing all this beautiful stuff, Sam. Sam, you are pot number TWJN24008. Hello, Sam. There's a W. Here is your reminder. What do you want to be? What? Ziggy, level eight. Ziggy, what's the reminder? Joseph W's is reminder. What do you want to be? Went off zero minutes ago. Joseph W, here is your upcoming reminder. Refill your prescription on February. Ziggy, stop. My prescription. Legit, right? Like AI. Like everybody knows everything. Like I'm telling Ziggy like to not say things, right? Ziggy was just naughty, right? Like a prescription. Like shouldn't that be like some kid? AI HIPAA thing, right? You can't tell people's other business, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. I got all the world of ones here. God knows why that thing was about to tell you my stuff, right? I don't want you to know about prescriptions. That's private, right? You know what I mean? It gets for ibuprofen because I'm old. Anyways, so we have our yellow here, right? And we're going to get our brush and clean it off a bit as we're letting that whirl. Because uh, you can see that when you take yellow and blue and white and put them together, they're, they're starting to get this grayish hue, right, uh, to it, right? Like if you can see it down there, it's becoming a little gray. Um, and what that is, is when you mix too many colors together, uh, what happens when you mix too many colors together is they, they all turn gray, right? And it's like my mother said when I was a kid, right? She was like, one day, Joseph, when we all grow up, I was like, yeah, ma, what's the deal? Right? And maybe she said something like this. Let's listen to her words of wisdom, because I only echo what she says. I mean, Sarah... Sarah, you're Sarah, right? So you're on my phone. I don't have my phone, Sarah. I'm so nervous. Like, I haven't had my phone in my hand for um, four minutes and 22 seconds. But it's probably been more like hours, right? So who's been calling me? Who's been texting me? Who's been emailing me? What did I miss on Instagram? Or, or YouTube shorts, right? Like, somebody's dancing or doing something goofy. I missed it. A cat. Right? There were so many more things I could have been doing, Sarah, other than priming you. Could have been doing. Right? But I chose. Could have been chose doing, Sarah. With you. 
Why can I make fun of myself and why why I just do that, right? Why am I making fun of the way I talk, right? You know, a lot of the viewers here, I was thinking about this earlier. A lot of the viewers are from other parts of the world, right? Uh, Japan, for instance, right? In Japan, you watch my channel a lot, right? Uh, so if you're going to be Japanese and you're going to come to America and you're going to use me as a tool to help you speak, um, I forget who I was talking to, but I was like, I was having like a fantasy about um, different things uh, that had to do with... Um, um, the fantasy had to do with... Um, ooh, we just got to fix something here. So anyways, water um, helps with the acrylics. Um, you really never want to... You could get acrylics on your hand and wash them up later. Like sometimes I have some acrylics on my face and I wash it off, right? But really, you shouldn't get in the habit of like letting them be on you, right? Like they don't belong there. They belong on the pot, right? Like what if I did my ear and it was in my ear, right? How do I clean that out, right? You know? Ridiculous. So anyways, when I'm thinking about this pot here, right? A lot of times when you pour the acrylics down there, they get all, uh, they get all like cozied up and, you know, it really gets wet down there and you can't really put other colors or add other colors, right? So do we want to use a different brush? Yeah, look at this. It's still a lot of acrylics are coming off this brush. Now, why do we want to use another brush? Because this has got too much acrylics on it and it's turning, like I just said, it's turning everything like a, a, a like a, a gray, like the whole world. If we all came together, if like the um, people from this part of the world, uh, like over there, that part of the world, if they came over and propagated, I have a lot of plants that I put inside here and they call it propagation when the plants go in there. So you propagate a plant, so you can put a plant from there and you can propagate it and put it in there. But if this plant, see this is blue, um, orange, and brown. If this plant, which is teal, dark teal, pumpkin orange by Deco Art Crafters Acrylic, and cinnamon brown, and you put it into this thing, which is just a mosh pit of color, what happens? Well... I don't know what I'm saying anymore because you guys are getting me all dizzy. And that's part of the sensory Cleto art thing, right? What we want to try to do now is we want to try to pick out some colors that would comp com uh, complement, not contrast, with our pot, right? So let's all just come down here and we'll kibitz with the pot, right? So... We have our sensory Cleto art going. Um, we know that we've dubbed you uh, Sam because we went and gifted, we got a gift to box and we're thinking about Sam the Butcher, right? So you're beautiful Sam, you got some beautiful white going on. You're a man, you got some blue. Um, so the white is deco art. Craft is acrylic white, blanco. And, and that's what we used as a base. So when we got this beautiful artwork here, right? I mean, we could stop right now if we wanted to, but we're not. We never do. Uh, what you find is when you do when you do sensory Kalito art and you're working on a, a pot, sometimes you just don't stop, right? Now look at that. If I took the Rust-Oleum, right, like on this one, yeah, I'm going to put some stuff in between. Uh, I left I left white in between so I could put colors there. I could darken up the browns and the teals and the oranges, right? But this one here is so beautiful. If I put the Rust-Oleum on, I would have a beautiful whitewash pot. Um, say I lived by the beach or the water or, or if I had like an island vibe going on. Like, that really works. And that's my buddy Cole taught me about um, how to 
mix colors and put them on the pot that way because uh, he's a genius. Cole the genius, we'll call him, right? But something tells me I want to put some red in there, right? Now, red is usually like a, a killer. You, you can call red like a um, dominant color, right? The terracotta pot is a, a big dirt, and they're, they're like an orange. Um, they were all pretty much born in the Badlands of South Dakota. Which I gotta check that out tonight. Anyway, so we're gonna put some red in it, right? Now this red, this Crafters Acrylic Red, right? We're gonna take a close look at this. If we look at this Crafters Acrylic Red, we're gonna see that it's very dark, right? Let's try to focus, right? So it's Deco Art Crafters Acrylic Christmas Red. Dun, 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 dun. So the reason I the reason I did that, right, is because it's Christmas red. And I have a feeling it's going to be really dark. So we just want to accent the pot. We don't want to have a dominant thing, right? Like we don't want to have it so, uh, like it's wicked uh, on it, right? We just want it like on it a little bit, right? So we'll take and we'll shake our paint. We have our paintbrush ready. Because when we get the red in there, we're just going to go wham, and the whole thing's going to turn red, right? Because this is a beautiful, dark, dark color. And what we have is this sort of beautiful, it, I mean, God, look at it. It looks, it doesn't even look like it wants red, right? It doesn't want red. What happens when you put red on that? I don't know if I took the right choice, right? So when we look at this terracotta pot, we see that there's turmoil there, right? But why is there turmoil? Because it looks washed, right? So where would the red belong? I had no clue what to do with you, buddy. But we committed ourselves to red. Oh, so we're going to take red. Oh, it's coming out quick. Oh, look at that. It's coming out quick. That's a lot of red. Boink. That's it for you, red. All right. So we got red on there. Red. The, uh, now, Sam's a butcher, right? So Sam the butcher has got some red acrylics on it, right? Some dark red. Maybe Sam has got some hidden things, right? Maybe we don't want to use this beautiful sponge brush because we already have another sponge brush here. Maybe we'll take that sponge brush and we'll put it in the water. Um, do we want to put it in the water? No, let's make sure it's dry. Like we got most of it off, right? So we'll take our sponge brush and what we'll do is we'll add a little red. We have Sam would add the red. Sam's a really good butcher. So I think Sam would really like to have a nice line of red. Sam the Butcher. So Sam, you have a beautiful red line there, right? But Sam doesn't just put one red line when he does his job. Sam has several red lines. So Sam wants to put another red line in here with his Christmas colors. Again, this is Sam the Butcher. And just so you can tone down the crazy um, scenario that's going on here with the red. This is Christmas red, so it's all good. There's nothing to worry about. Like I said, this is called sensory Kalito art. Um, so be really, really careful if you can't handle it. Because we're talking about Sam the Butcher. And we're carefully in... in, we're in um, um, Ziggy, what does in scissor mean? A scissor is a cutting tool with two blades pivoted together. It is used for cutting various materials by opening and closing the blades in a shearing motion. Scissors come in different sizes and shapes, ranging from small embroidery scissors to large industrial shears. Ziggy, what does a butcher use? From WebMD.com. Butchie graduated from the Drexel University College of Medicine in 2019.
What does that mean? Like that last thing that she said, right? Like I was looking for for Ziggy to say Butch's knife. Everybody knows that. Like it's pretty obvious what I just did, right? Because I was doing like a scary thing and stuff, and a little red. But the the thing of it is, right? Like Ziggy, what is a butcher's knife? A butcher's knife is a large, sharp knife used for cutting meat. It is designed for slicing through thick pieces of meat and is often curved for easier slicing. Butcher's knives are made from high carbon steel for strength and durability. Uh, Ziggy, uh, sing me a song. I've been thinking a lot about what makes me feel happy. The little things that happen day to day. It's a forecast full of sun, or a recipe for fun. The daily news or playing songs that put you in a groove. I just want to say. was brought to you by Ziggy. Ziggy, thank you. Ziggy, thank you. You're welcome. Hope your Friday is going well. My God, it's going so good. I'm hanging out with my friends. Uh, I have a beautiful palette. I put some uh, red stripes on this, right? And then what I did to that, right, Ziggy, is after I put the red stripes on it, is uh because we're just like having a beautiful friday we're rifting like the inside of this is looking really amazing i'll probably show it to you later on in the show uh, but the palette's coming out beautiful right but look at the beautiful terracotta pot i mean can we see that can you guys see the terracotta pot yeah oh my god you can right do you want to zoom in just do you want to zoom in no we're not going to touch it right because we have this artistic rendering now here at Terracotta World, you're gonna find out that there are all kinds of art. Um, sensory Kalido art is not only the art of thinking and doing, but it's also the art of looking, right? Uh, right now you're engaging your senses, right? We have different things going on. It is beautiful, we just hit an hour. Sarah, I've been thinking about you for an hour, so now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna really think about you, Sarah, baby. All right, so we have our palette dish, Sarah. We have beautifully mixed up. Uh, this time we have a base of yellow, and we have uh, the white just hanging out in there. And then we're gonna sort of mix it, not really try too hard. We're gonna do a little more yellow on the outside. Uh, and then we're gonna put our palette right in our hand. You do like this, work over your workstation because you don't wanna get it on the floor of your studio. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm applying the brush like this, but doing it on this side, right? I know it's kind of like I should whirl the other way. So why don't we do that? We'll reverse the whirl. My God, it's so dark. Like, did you ever look at that video? It's wicked dark, but the background's beautiful, right? So anyways, I don't know what Joe's doing on that particular video, right? Let's see what he's doing over here. What's up, buddy? Doesn't, but we want our splatter yeah. to be inside. So we're gonna slow down. You wanna put on your music? Whirling. You're whirling with me. We feel friction oh. right? on, right? Why is there friction? Video. Well, I, Sarah, I don't know why there's two Joes over there, there, right? But. We can't get any help, right? But we gotta add more color, right? So let's look at what we have first, right? Because when we start to get into this beautiful artwork right here, like if you zoom in, zoom in now, right? What y'all looking at 
is probably something that can only be created on a terracotta world, right? So uh, we're thinking of Sam, Sam the Butcher. So there's something about this, though, that I like. When I think of Sam the Butcher, I think of the Brady Bunch. Um, I think of Turmoil, though. It's, it's, there's something about this pot that is primed, but it almost wants to be like the finished adventure. Right? Like, there's something about turmoil with Sam the Butcher um, that I don't quite understand. Right? So, what we're going to do um, is we're going to take, we're going to put our palette up here, maybe. Like that. Yeah, we're going to think about maybe the next color for Sam the Butcher. Now, Sam the Butcher. When you go into his place of business, right? He's got his whites on and it's got like some blood on it because he's a butcher, right? And, but he's got this big, beautiful smile. Uh, that would be the blue in him, right? This big bubbly guy, right? He's got all this blue and everything. And we know he's in love with Alice. She's our daffodil yellow. But what, what really grounds us about... Um, Grounds us about you, Mr. Uh, Sam. So now we're going to have to try to think of colors and think of Sam, right? Because I don't want this pot to be done, uh, even though I just want to prime it. I mean, I just want to put the finish on it, right? Because uh, I love this pot and it looks beautiful, right? So I can finish it, but something wants me to use this and add some color. So I'm looking up here in this pot, we have some pumpkin yellow, pumpkin yellow, pumpkin yellow, Sam the Butcher pumpkin yellow. Well, first of all, it's pumpkin orange, but it's the daffodil, right? That got me thinking about um, the yellow when I was thinking about orange, right? Maybe we need some uh, some sweetness from 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 uh, Alice, right? What about Alice, right? Alice is beautiful. So if Alice is beautiful, then a, a beautiful woman wears pink, pretty in pink, right? Is that like telling women that you gotta wear pink? Who gives a flying shit about that stuff? Anyways, pink women. Um, there's women in, uh, uh, I saw an interview with, um, uh, on TV, and they were doing the women from, um, there was a brigade of women that really didn't like the fact that uh, Russia was invading. So they were the, the soul brigade, the woman brigade. Uh, I forget what it was called. Maybe, maybe it's Joe knows. Oh, oh, that's that's really gonna gonna say, Joy, like, that doesn't even make sense. Just mix it up a little bit, right? And you're gonna say, Sarah Lee, yeah. Sarah Lee. What do you want to be? Sarah Lee's gonna be. Hey, Joe. Sam, Sam, what do you want to do? <clears throat> Sam, Sam, what do you want to be? You want to hang out with beautiful Alice? All right, we got some pink here. Some beautiful pink. Remember you came over there and she had some beautiful pink pussy willows, right? And you were playing with them. And you were like, wow, I love the pink, right? It looks so good on you. She might have had a pink blouse on that day, but you and her went on a date and you remember she was wearing pink. So we're going to take a little pink. Uh, we're going to put the pink inside because everybody had a chance to dry. Right? So we're going to put on this light right here. See how we just pop into action? Right? It's kind of like, um, it's fun to be excited. Right? Isn't it fun to be excited? Right? So let's... Let's take some pink. Now we got it all shooken up. Because our uh, deco art, crafters acrylic, tutti frutti. <laughs> Check that out. I ain't making this stuff up. Right? Like the tutti frutti. Like, look at that. I'm, uh, I'm 57 years old. Right? We're two hours, 13 minutes, and 59 seconds. We're probably going to go for three hours to see how long that takes to load up. It's because you're not supposed to. We'll do a three-hour video. The next one will take two days to load up. But we're going to put a little Alice. And this is for Sam. 
The other one we called Sarah Lee, right? That was with Sarah here, right? What are you doing over there? And crafts, like legit. Like th these brushes here, these, these uh, blue brushes, they were on Amazon. They were lighter blue. Like Hold on, Joe. Sort of like this but anyway, everybody, like while you're listening to Joe, watches the you know, pink Alice flows into scene. So I'm like, all right, I'll do that. I'll get some nice brushes. We hit, the price yeah, we went because they were a different color. We're doing good. It was like $16 a pack. I bought a few packs, so I wouldn't have a deal, right? So I'm not really into getting a deal. But um, then, like, you get all these brushes. You just go into, like, any store. Right? And you just buy little brushes. Um, yeah, squeeze hot. Oh, yes, sugar booger. Anywhere. Oh, a lot brushes. of Alice. Alice, so, calm down, Alice. Or you could actually, uh, what I did was I gave everybody a set of these nice, cool, cool ones here. Uh, right there, they're cool, right? I gave those out for Christmas. All right, well, speaking of the Christmas brushes, we happen to have these beautiful brushes I bought everybody for Christmas. Everybody in my family I gifted to for Christmas, right? Uh, so we'll take this brush. Oh, slow down! Cheapest creepers. Look what happened in there. You got splatter everywhere. All right, so we'll take this brush and we'll uh, cover this blood up a little bit, right? Cover the blood. And we just want to take some of this beautiful uh, pink and we, we just want to like put it on top of the red. Right, let's soften up the red, right? Let's get out of the craziness of um, of thinking that um, our beautiful guy, Sam, is some kind of nefarious guy on on the on the show or something like that. Now let's just think of Sam as just this wonderful, wonderful person, right? Sam is a beautiful, beautiful man, and he's uh, whirling his way through life. And he's, uh, he's only thinking about Alice. So even though Sam is so beautiful, he still has the desire for Alice, right? So he wants Alice to be around all the time. So what he does is he packages up his meat at his uh, place of business. And he goes and he says, hey, Alice, what's going on? He rings the front doorbell over at... Uh, over at, what, what do you call it, the uh, the place where he is. Um, he goes to the Brady Bunch house, right? And he says to Mr. Brady, he says, Mr. Brady, I want to I wanna go see Alice. And Mr. Brady's like, sure thing, Sam. Sure thing, Sam, you could go visit Alice, but we need her to work and make dinner for us. Because I guess that's why the Brady Bunch had a maid, because... Mrs. Brady and Mr. Brady had, like, Mr. Brady worked from his house, right? Let's talk about this. Let's get the Brady Bunch thing out of our way. All right, first of all, I'm, I'm thinking that we need to soften the, soften the pink up a little bit, right? Because we're, we're overpowering our beautiful freaking thing with pink here, right? Now we got a pink thing, right? We gotta soften this up. So we wanna, what we wanna do is we wanna take it. I'm gonna take this brush and put it over here for a second. Oh God, help us! All right. So we wanna take our brush and just like soften it up, soften it up, soften it up. Like get it in there. Get, 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 get. Now it's whirling, right? The pot's whirling, right? And we're thinking about Sam. Sam, smash, smash, Sam. I'm getting you, Sam. But what we're doing is we're taking it. We're saying. We want to get all this pink out of here, right? Because all of a sudden, we don't want a pink pot, right? But we made it very pink, right? So what are we doing? We're trying to unpink it, right? And it's very tumultuous. It's a very tumultuous time in pink land, right? It's like the Bobby movie, right? It was like crazy that the guy, right? Imagine there was a thing about the Bobby movie, right? You're going too fast. Slow down. Now, if you want to look at this gorgeous pot, zoom in. We'll have it go slow. Think about how much fun we just had, right? With our terracotta pot, right? 
We were thinking about seeing the butcher. And we were thinking about all the beautiful things about Sam the Butcher, right? And Sam ended up with some nice um, Alice all over him, right? It looks beautiful. It looks a little more gray on the inside than it does on the outside, right? Because that's just the way it is. Um, but like the daffodil, the daffodil, what about the daffodil? The daffodil. The daffodil in the blue looks a little purple, right? So what happens if we take a little purple right here, like that, and we put it on our palette. We just stick it on our palette, a little purple. It's beautiful purple going on our palette like that. We put a couple of dots in there. Yeah, some purple. Now, what do we want to do with the purple? Well, we sort of want to emulsify it with our, with our, um, our pink, right? Because what we're trying to do is we're trying to soften up, soften up the pink, right? So we got a little purple in here that we're gonna. Get in there, like we'll, you know, we'll do, we'll do the, uh, we'll do the coal thing in here, right? And we're just putting some purple on the brush, basically, um, making that nice. But what we'll do is, we'll, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do the coal method. Uh, this is the coal. He calls this the rusting method, but we're gonna use the coal method all over our pot now, and that basically is taking and you slap in the brush. As it were, as you're slapping the brush against the terracotta pot, you're pushing the, uh, what you're doing is you're pushing the color into the terracotta pot. Um, and what you're doing is you're getting the color off the brush. And as it whirls, right, it looks amazing. But you really, you really have to get in there with it or else you're gonna lose it, right? You don't wanna lose the color, right? So we'll try to get some wet color in here, some wet here. We don't want to add water, right? Anybody that knows anything about acrylics knows that when you add water, it like, um, it causes like friction, right? It causes molecules to do stuff. It causes uh, all kinds of crazy things happen when you, when you put water with acrylics, right? I mean, it doesn't look that great. Um, uh, what happens? Like, I know what happens, but I don't feel like explaining it, right? So, Sam, the butcher, buddy, is looking kind of spiffy. Yeah, right. We we were a little, we were a little too pink, um, but we took our time. And fortunately for us, we have some more purple in there, because it seems like we're making like a gorgeous psychedelic, beautiful piece of art here, right? We're just gonna finish it off by taking our brush strokes uh, that's wet. Our brush is wet uh, with acrylics. And we're gonna take it and we're just gonna rub our brush against it like this. Now, what we're thinking is that we're almost done, right? So what we're trying to do is we're trying to say, all right, get off all the brush. Let's take a look at it, but let's not stop the whirler because we want to be surprised. We want to say this is the most beautiful Sam pot that was ever developed in the history of humanity. And I'll tell you, it's adding up to that, right? The more we look at Sam, the more we're thinking that it's beautiful. Sam, you are a beautiful man. And uh, I appreciate everybody stopping by uh, to see Sam get painted, right? Uh, one of the beautiful things about sensory Kalito art is that it takes us away for a, a portion of time, right? In this case, um, we were taken away with the help of a little story. Um, we have Sam over here. <clears throat> Sam's beautiful. We spent like two hours talking to Sam and looking at it. And what we'll do is we'll whirl it a, a little 
So we'll try to get this looking a little artsy fartsy few peeps. Let that whirl slowly. Oh, you know what I could do? Take the pot, put it there. We used pink deco art, so we'll do that. We use purple. So we'll stick up. No, the pink works, right? So we got our palette up there looking pretty, right? We got this one up there that we did the other day. We got most of our whirling lights on, right? And now you can see that beautiful piece of artwork in the middle. And that is the terracotta whirl, everybody, right? So we sat here for a couple of hours. We talked. We, uh, the day went by. Maybe some boats went by. Beautiful things happened. Wonderful things occurred. And most of all, I had fun. And um, at this juncture, uh, what we do is we, we thank the people that helped us. So I'd like to roll the credits. Um, I'd like to thank everybody that made Terracotta World happen. Joe, Nigro. Um, and everybody else uh, will remain nameless to protect the innocent. Uh, but we did have a great time today. We have the Terracotta World. If, we, if you need any further information about the Terracotta World, go to terracottaworld.com. If you'd like to become part of the movement with Terracotta World and uh, Sensory Cleto Art, what you want to do is like, subscribe, and hit the notification buttons. The notification buttons might be a little difficult, so you might want to take those off. Uh, if I get manic, I just keep hitting them. Anyways, um, that's me. I do my thing. You do your thing. This is Joe Nigro at Terracotta World. I am Joe Nigro. I invented the amazing Terracotta World machine. And we just whirled Sam. So maybe on this one, we'll get a beautiful, purple, beautiful man painting Sam. We'll call it Sam the Purple Man. Yeah, we'll call this video Sam the Purple Man. Whoa! We almost had Sam the, the guy that lost his dish. Anyways, take it easy, folks. Love yous all. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Two hours, 26 minutes and 57 seconds. Look at those birds out there. Look at that bird coming right at us. Woo! There comes another one. Woo! Isn't that beautiful? Oh, we got the birds in the back.